Hi everyone, today we are looking at a small and easy topic, Proteus. It is a gram-negative organism, easy to remember by its pink color. It is a bacilli, but may be found in other shapes occasionally. It is actively motile, owing to the numerous flagella it has. Proteus is a non-capsulated and non-sporing organism. Common sources of Proteus are soil, water, and it is a commensal organism in our intestines. Bees are always found in swarms. This will help you remember an important identifying feature of Proteus, which is swarming growth. Few other organisms also show this feature, which you will be able to recall using this mnemonic. Please stay very close. Where P is for Proteus, S is for Cirrhacia, V is for V. parahemolyticus, and C is for Clostridium tetany. Proteus loves our excretory system with a special fondness for causing urinary tract infections. Proteus produces urease, which helps convert urea into ammonia. This gives a characteristic fishy odor to urine of infected individuals. Ammonia causes the urine to become alkaline, which you can easily remember with the help of the litmus test. This alkalinity causes the formation of stones, which over time can lead to renal failure, especially if left untreated. Some other organisms associated with kidney stones can easily be recalled with this mnemonic, P chunks, where each letter stands for Proteus, Cryptococcus, H. pylori, Urea plasma, Nocardia, Klebsiella, S. saprophyticus and S. epidermidis, respectively. Proteus is a non-lactose fermenter and is always PPA test positive, which causes yellow-colored phenylalanine deaminase medium to change to green color. Another important feature is the formation of diene's lines. When Proteus is cultured with an unrelated strain, it inhibits its growth by forming prominent lines, as shown in this picture. I hope this video helps you recollect everything important about Proteus. Please do like this video and subscribe to our channel.